Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy. Today is December 20th and Samsung just launched more capabilities for Samsung One UI 7.0. Now this is in form of the Display Assistant. This is where you're able to change the application's screen timeout. Basically, you're able to change the screen timeout per application. You also have a one button tap where it'll keep your screen on for 30 minutes. You can also change your brightness limit profile. Basically means that if your brightness is all the way up, your phone is in a hot situation. Basically, it would kind of dim it down. You can, if you want to, turn it on so this way it's at its maximum brightness, even if it's getting warm. You also have adaptive brightness options. You can also change each specific application back to standard refresh if you want to save a little bit of battery life. And then also you have the button for screen curtain. Now this comes to you in the way of display assistant. Now this is found inside of Good Guardians. Now Good Guardians is very similar to Good Lock in the fact that you're able to fully customize your Samsung phone beyond what it already is with Samsung One UI. So in Good Lock, you have a bunch of different modules for customizations and Good Guardians is an application, again, very similar with modules that you're able to have more capabilities with battery tracker, battery guardian, galaxy app booster, thermal guardian, memory guardian, media file guardian. And over here in family, this was just launched today, December 20th, and it's called Display Assistant. So again, all you have to do is go inside of the Galaxy Store, search for Good Guardians, and inside of the Family tab, you have your Display Assistant. Now, when you first go inside of here, you just want to give it a few different permissions. So then this way you're able to actually customize your phone and make preference changes based on these settings right here. Now on the very top, this is where you have your app screen timeout. For this one, this is where you're able to change how long the screen timeout is per each application. And if you want a auto dim to happen with the app. So what you could do is on the very top, they have them all different, you know, in different categories from art and cars, business, communication. So pretty much if you want to, I'm going to scroll on down pretty much where the games are. And for this one, this is where I'm going to change the timeout and also a dim for one of the games that I do like to play. So there's a couple of them I'd like to change. So for pocket champs and also for wideout survival, I'm going to add those two in. And then for this, what I'm going to do is we will actually do the auto dim. This is something where maybe I just want it to kind of sit there. I'll pick it back up later. Maybe I'm doing dishes or doing some cooking or whatever the case. Pretty much I'll be able to set it down and come right on back. So right over here underneath games, you can see that they're all still categorized. So when you add in any of the applications, it's going to let you know that, hey, this one's going to auto dim and the screen timeout is 10 minutes. Now, if there's any of these that you would like to change, you can actually just tap right here. Maybe if you want, you can turn off the auto dim. You maybe you want it to go back down to five minutes. And then now you have made that change. Now, if there's any of these that you'd like to get rid of, you can just simply press and hold, tap on those ones, and then you can hit on remove. Now, heading back a screen right here, you're able to see what is happening. So this app, this app, and this app all are set for 10 minutes, while this one is set for two minute of a timeout. And then this one, this one, this one, and more has auto dim turned on. So you have a little bit of like a little display summary of what you have selected. Now the next feature is one that's called keep screen on. For this one, it's just adding a quick button to your quick settings. So this way, if you tap it, it'll keep the screen on for 30 minutes, no matter what you're doing. So if you're cooking, you're going back and forth between looking at the display and then going back to the stove or oven, or if you're working out and you're watching different videos or music or, or reading something, whatever it may be, it'll stay on for you unless if you hit the power key over here so you turned off your display or if you did a device reboot or if your battery is below 15 percent so pretty much the only thing in this display right here or this screen is this option here to add it to your quick settings so if i was to pull this on down we take a look at the quick settings you'll be able to see keep screen on was added right here so now that i've tapped it it's going to keep the screen on at this moment for 30 minutes now, next up, we have the brightness limit profile. In this one, you have standard or light. So standard means that your brightness is limited at high temperatures. So if you're sitting in a sauna, you've been there for quite some time, maybe 10, 15 minutes. If your phone is getting hotter, then you're not really able to bring your brightness all the way up to the very top. It's going to limit the brightness so your phone doesn't overheat. The light option means brightness can be kept up at high temperatures, but the device cools down slowly. 
So whichever option you would like to use, I'm just going to keep mine over at standard uh, because a sauna is actually something that I do sit in almost every other day. Now you also have adaptive brightness options. So that means that when you, when you turn on your adaptive brightness, so as you move from room to room, if you go outside, if you come inside, if you go to a dark room, a light room, pretty much your brightness will be adaptive. It's gonna change based on where you are. You can actually change how fast or the speed of brightness change, you know, depends on your surrounding environment. So if you wanna change the speed of that adaptive brightness, if you want it to change slower, you can or you can actually make it go super quick. So one, the moment you step outside, you look at your phone, instead of it slowly bringing the brightness up, it'll just go up at four times the speed. So if you, uh, you know, opposite, you go inside of a movie theater, you look at your phone, right before that it was bright out, and then now it's dark, uh, it's gonna go and dim super quick. Now next up, you have the ability to change per application back and keep it at standard refresh rate. So rather than being at 120 hertz, you can choose specific applications to only run at 60. So really, you know, there's a lot of applications where you don't need it to be at 120. Like if you're reading emails or messages, you don't need 120 hertz. Uh, but, you know, 60 hertz is going to be just fine. And if especially if you're in those applications quite a bit, it's going to save you a little bit of battery life because it's not going at 120 hertz refresh rate. It's only going at 60. Then you could also take a look at some of your games. So some of the games where it's not too crazy and you just want it to be very basic and simple, you're able to just move these over into 60 hertz, so this way it's not running at 120. So it's pretty fun that you can change the refresh rate per application. Not just a refresh rate per game, you know, based off of your, your little uh, uh, game booster over here from your gaming hub. So game booster allows you to change your refresh rate per game. Now you have the ability to do that per application when you're using inside of Good Guardian's Display Assistant. So next up, after the standard refresh rate of applications, you now have Screen Curtain. Now Screen Curtain is something that I've already had a part of my phone. I've already had it downloaded from before, but now if you don't have it, it's a simple way to turn it on. Again, this is gonna be a quick settings icon. So Screen Curtain uh, mode puts the screen in doze state. When the app operates for a long time, try it out. Uh, screen Curtain mode does not work if you're doing a phone call, if you're playing games, or on YouTube or YouTube Music. So if you want to add that quick settings button in, you can go right here and then you just hit on add. Now I've already had it. It was just not a part of the active display of my quick settings. So you can see here, once it's added, it's already been added. So now what's gonna happen is as you pull this down, you move it over, bring this on down, you'll be able to see screen curtain right there. So now that you have activated it, pretty much all that's going to happen is let's say that you're just inside of Twitter or Facebook or whatever it may be. What will happen is that if you just want to take a little bit of a timeout, but you want to keep it where it is, like you don't want to lose any progress of what you're doing. Maybe you're reading a book and you don't want it to you know, lose the page that you're on. All you have to do is now just do screen curtain. Now, once you do screen curtain, it's let you know that everything is still running. Everything is exactly where it was from before. So you don't lose the place of anything. And then all you have to do is either double tap or press the power key to return the screen back on. So now I'm just gonna press that button and looks as if maybe there's a little bit of bug when it comes down to the screen curtain. So it's not working perfectly right now. So my guess is that there's probably gonna be another update with this because it was just launched today. I mean, our phone is turning right back on, but that's so far the only bug that I'm finding with this application. Now how screen curtain is supposed to work is let's say that you're inside of an application, you pull down your quick settings, and then from here, what you can do is you can just tap on screen curtain and you can see here that it's actually written correctly on the other one for the One UI 7. It says double tab. Basically, it just says double tap on the screen here. It takes you right back to where you were from before. So again, you're not losing any progress of whatever you are doing, especially if you're reading a book or you're scrolling through Instagram or whatever. Or the other way to get back into your phone is by hitting your little power key on the right hand side. So currently there is a bug with screen curtain. So I would suggest to probably not use it right now. Pretty much right now in its current state, it restarts your phone. So right now the display assistant version is 7.0.12. Maybe we have to wait for a newer, better version, updated version of display assistant, which will then hopefully update screen curtain for us. So everything else on here so far from what I have played with, is working just fine except for screen curtain. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. Hopefully you have learned something new. So yeah, in the world of Samsung, in the world of the Galaxy Store, there's not only just good luck, but you also have Good Guardians. Good Guardians is giving you a bunch of different really cool modules, 
or applications to really kind of play with that you're able to you know do stuff with your battery boosting of applications and games your memory and now they have a bunch of stuff going on with the display so hopefully you guys have appreciated this video if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later